Heavenly Father. We come before your throne of grace, recognizing your sovereignty and power. We humbly ask for your divine protection to encompass our home, shielding it from all harm and evil. May your presence dwell within these walls, and may your angels encamp around us, guarding us day and night. Psalm 91 verses 9 to 11 says, If we say, The Lord is our refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake me, no disaster will come near my tent, for he will command his angels concerning me, to guard me in all my ways. Father, we declare your promises over our home. Just as your word assures us in Psalm 91, we proclaim that as we make you our refuge and dwelling place, no harm shall befall us, and no disaster shall come near our abode. We trust in your unfailing protection, O Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over every inch of our home, covering it with his redeeming power and sanctifying presence. May his blood serve as a barrier against any form of darkness or negativity that seeks to infiltrate our surroundings. We invoke the authority given to us through Jesus Christ to bind and rebuke any spirits of fear, violence, or destruction that may attempt to trespass upon our property. By the power of his name, we command them to flee and leave this place forever. We ask, O Lord, that your angels stand guard over our home, stationed at every entrance and window, ready to thwart any scheme of the enemy. Let your angels be our vigilant protectors, ensuring that we dwell securely in the shadow of your wings. Grant us discernment, Heavenly Father, to recognize and resist any subtle attacks on our peace and security. Strengthen our faith, that we may walk in confidence, knowing that you are our shield and our fortress. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we declare victory over every threat, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love and care. May your peace reign supreme within these walls, and may your glory shine forth for all to see. Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, No weapon forged against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. Gracious God, we thank you for hearing our prayer and granting us your divine protection. May your name be exalted forever and may your will be done in our lives and in our home. We pray and claim Psalm 91 promises over us that says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fleeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him, and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him, 
and show him my salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. If you found that this prayer has helped you in any way, please hit the like button and subscribe for more prayers and encouraging Bible scriptures. Until next time, we pray you continue to have protection and favored in Jesus' mighty name, amen.